Today, we are going to be watching All Cheerleaders Die. I'm in my costume. I'm in my Toro's cheer uniform that I wore as my Halloween costume last year. I added some vampirism with just a little bit of a blood splat. Nothing too crazy. I didn't even buy this for this video. This is one of my old cheer bows, so. I still got it, guys. I do still got it. If you guys don't know, it's been a long time since I've mentioned this, but I used to be a competitive all-star cheerleader. Um, I've done videos on Bring It On. I did Bring It On, Bring It On All or Nothing, and then I think Bring It On In It to Win It. I love cheer movies because they're so ridiculous because they never get them right. I also love horror movies, so we have like the perfect combination right now. Today, we have a cheerleader horror teen movie. This is just on my alley. Without further ado, do let's watch all cheerleaders die i hope this is like step up horror because honestly they should make that a step up horror movie is needed like we need a step up comeback but make it horror because that would be amazing oh my god that's the girl from smile isn't that the girl from smile check this shit out I don't know why I was so surprised because the title says it, but that kind of gave me chills on my spine. <laughs> like, I usually am not really one to like squeal at like that type of stuff, but oh, that made me like actually want to die. Like, I haven't done cheerleading in years. I, the last time I actually cheered competitively was when I was 14. So it's been like six years since I've ever even stepped on a mat chills up my spine like it gives me chills because that is actually happened to me and it happens a lot i don't think people give cheerleaders enough credit now obviously type of cheering i was doing i was doing competitive all-star cheerleading which means i was on spring mats i was not on hard floor which turf is basically hard floor the mats that i had it's springs wood then the carpet, you know, rug type material on top. It's the blue mat or black mat, depending on whose floor, whose gym you're at. That's what I fell on. So still, it fucking hurts because spring wood and carpet is not a cushion. <laughs> like It is a cushion, but it's not like falling into a vat of pillows. I do give props to school cheerleaders who are cheering on hard floors, whether that's at you know, your local like basketball gym on hard wood floor, whether you're on the turf or whether you are at, you know, where it just has the carpet on the floor because sometimes people just roll out the mats. I, I'm calling it carpet because that's kind of what it feels like when you just roll out the mats on top of wood. It's, it hurts so bad when you fall on that. So yeah, just to put things in perspective to why that bothered me, but also just a bit of perspective on cheerleading in general and how it all works, competitive versus school cheerleading and how they don't follow the same rules, but they follow the same risk. That shit is scary. Oh my God, they look fucking, the cheerleaders look really fucking old. <laughs> like no wonder why they die. They're fucking senior citizens. They look so old to be in a high school cheerleading team. Oh my God. <laughs> She just freeze framed her neck snapping. <gasps> the hard part is gonna be pretending that I actually like those dumb bitches. And Terry, Mr. Big Bad Wolf himself. I'm gonna ruin your perfect little senior year, dog. Oh, she's pulling revenge for her friend. That's amazing, actually. Will this be a, a good revenge movie? Guys, come on, a good revenge movie for your friend, for your fallen friend? Maybe. She didn't just get sick, okay? She died. Lena! It's over. Oh my god, they're ex-girlfriends. She had a witch ex-girlfriend who named her cat after her. <laughs> okay, so either she's trying to predict the future or she's cursing them as we speak. Maybe she put a curse on Lexi. Maybe that's why Lexi died. I don't know, I, I feel like I should tell you something, but you just seem so happy. <laughs> Jesus. 
Okay, now you have to tell. Okay, well, you... You said that... That's very romantic, what she's doing with her hair. I know she's like, she hates her, but I feel like something else is going to happen. He's with her. He's with Alexis. He's been helping her come back from the dead. And they're trying to ruin her. Oh my god, they're gonna kiss. Guys, I have to say that I've succeeded in this video. Cheerleaders, horror, kissing. Because I hope that this is not a sneak attack. I hope they're not manipulating each other. I hope that they actually start liking each other. No, it's, it's fine. I'm gonna walk. We're practically neighbors. You sure? Yeah. Dang, they really like each other. I'm Thanks, really excited guys. about this. Cause I think it was a joke on Maddie's end, but I think she's actually falling as well. Is that a voodoo doll? Oh my God, oh my God. She learned witch practices from her ex-girlfriend and now is using it to get back at all these people? What? Mount Shebesti, Mount Shebest Cemetery. That's literally the Coven theme song from American Horror Story. This is Coven meets Bring It On, maybe with a little bit of glee. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, uh, do you know what's up? That was between Terry and Tracy, so. You sure? What do you mean? She reminds me of Elena Gilbert. That's why it's reminding me of the Vampire Diaries because they're in the woods and she reminds me of Elena Gilbert. And there's a witch. Stones put out special energy all in doing spells. Protecting someone? Oh. Look, Hannah, I'm kind of doing my own thing here. Dang, everyone hates Hannah. When the witch doesn't let you into their spells, you you suck. <laughs> also, the witch needs friends. Like, I don't know why she's acting so like, oh, I just rather be alone. It's like, you need all the friends you can get. You named your cat after your ex-girlfriend. You're a freak. Come here. What? Come she's doing all of this to make her witchy ex-girlfriend pissed. I'm surprised that they're actually like together, like they're actually doing stuff because usually it's like they kiss one time and then that's all they, they do throughout the entire movie. Or it's like Black Swan, Mila Kunis and Natalie Portman and it's like weird visions. They're actually gonna freaking fall in love. And she's not only doing this, she's doing this to make her ex witch girlfriend jealous. That's crazy. That's a, that's a double feature. Guys, I'm so excited because this never happens. I never end up actually getting the lesbian couple in these movies. I always wish for them to happen. I always wish to see some sapphic representation in movies, especially horror movies. And I'm finally getting it. That is an ugly cry face. She looked like she was about to puke. The spell went wrong and there will be consequences to the spell. This is amazing. This is this is sapphic relationship. This is random witchcraft. This is cheerleaders. This is high school. This is insane. This is actually so insane. No fraternizing with cheerleaders. Effective immediately. It's good enough for the NFL. It's good enough for Blackfoot fucking high. So this is, this is pitch perfect. No fraternizing with the treble tones. Ayo, hey, treble. Three people in my 17 years have made me um, this really sweet boy at summer camp, the summer after freshman year, I got my friggin' socks rocked off by Maddie. <laughs> she is so good. <laughs> by you, Terry. <laughs> with us this year? Well, friggin' fine with me. That was amazing, might I add. Terry, huh? Are you gonna cry? <gasps> <gasps> what the <laughs> fuck? I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but still, just because I know something's going to happen doesn't mean it can't shock me. I just don't know why he's so upset. I mean, I guess, I guess he's like jealous that she's not with him anymore and she just texted asshole to him, but I don't know. I just don't think the reaction is very warranted. Like there's nothing that she could have done that would warrant him hitting her. I'm talking about the reaction to be like, no fraternizing with the uh, cheerleaders. Like, I don't really get it. But I'm waiting for the more supernatural. I hope the witch comes out. Oh my God, what is wrong with him? 
Oh my god, is he a werewolf? Oh my god, is he a werewolf? I don't know why he would be a werewolf, but like, what if he's a werewolf? Oh my god, they're gonna run them off the road, and because she was putting a protection spell on Maddie... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! She is so funny, crying alone in her car, that's... That's us. Oh my god, but they all have a protection spell on her because of the fucking goth witch. And they're all gonna come back, but not like how they wanted them to. <laughs> Guys, pause. This is a fucking insane movie. Like, first of all, it's not at all what I expected. I didn't watch the trailer. I didn't read the de description. I did not expect it to be this good. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this. I'm very much invested into this plot. This is not at all what I thought it was going to be. This is fucking cool. Not, not saying the plot is cool of a bunch of football players killing the cheerleaders, but the concept is cool because it's, why I say it's cool, it's because it's not what I expected. I thought it was going to be predictable. I did not think this bitch was going to go crazy and run them off the fucking road. Oh my god. The stones are going to light up and they're going to bring them all back to life as vampires. She's a really good witch. This is cool. Guys, I'm actually really invested. This is fucking cool oh my god yeah <laughs> and if you guys see me on halloween night doing this don't ask questions oh my god <laughs> but he just floated up to her ear that was crazy the way they are going into their holes is actually so fucking crazy. Out of all the ways we could have displayed this or portrayed this happening, this was not what I expected them to do. She's like, this isn't actually my cheerleading girlfriend. This is my, this is my witch girlfriend. Look up for two seconds. I'm not Hannah. A Freaky Friday body switch. I think we could have gone without the glowing gemstones. I'm sorry, Larry. I think my friends are hungry. What? I love it that she doesn't give a fuck. Ew, the bugs. That's a little, you've gone too far now. I'm all for bringing people back from the dead. I'm all for, you know, sacrificing someone to eat. But the bugs is too far. I don't want them to have moral complexes. I want them to tear the entire school down. That is so weird. I just realized that that is her sister. Like she's in her sister's body and she's trying to get like pleasure from being in her sister's body. That's like, it's, that's so weird and incestuous. And I feel like she's like, oh my God, I'm slaying. But it's like, you're literally like, Did I do it again? <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. on the toilet. Oh my God. This might be the most disgusting movie I've ever watched. And I watched the human centipede on camera. Oh, I love you, Hannah. They all feel it? Ew! Oh my god, this is actually the most disgusting movie I ever watched. I was about to give this like a girl boss movie rating, but this is not anymore. This is like disgusting. looking at her that's so fucking weird i i don't even know what to say guys like i was gonna give this like movie i was about to be like this is kind of like this is kind of fun this is kind of quirky this is kind of like they just all felt pleasure because she was 
Like, it's already weird enough that that was her in her sister's body doing that. So it already has a level of incestual nature to it. But then having them all be connected through that pleasure was the most insane scene I've ever watched. That looked like it was straight out of Not Another Teen Movie. I could have never thought of that. And that's why I'm not one of the writers of this movie. I don't even have a single guess what is going to happen in this next scene. Here, drink mine. Drink mine. <laughs> drink mine. There's nothing more unsexy than going like this. Drink mine. This is so Vampire Diaries. The music that they chose for this scene is insane. It's like the princess walking down to the ball music. Why would they use that for there? Why would they use that music for that scene? We're family now. Like it or not, families fight. I wouldn't really need a family, so. What if we need you, Maddie? <laughs> what? What was the purpose of that scene? What if we need you, Maddie? That's it. That's the whole scene. And I don't understand how Lexi's death in the beginning <laughs> plays a part into this. Like, I guess it kind of just like starts the events, but I, I thought it was going to be more meaningful. I thought she was going to be the first one to come back to life. I think that would have been a little bit more, a bit of a better tie-in in my opinion. I think that would have been a better tie-in than to just have it just like be like, oh yeah, she died. <laughs> like, that's it. Like that dipshit Tracy. <laughs> the way Lena is smiling in the background. But right now, I have to go and paint my face up like those whores. So, uh, Maddie Killian, out! Well, we all died anyway, so does it really matter? It was like a week ago and we died since then, so like, doesn't even matter. I thought you are being nice to me because you liked me. Well, why would that be true? You were literally so mean to her when she tried to try out for the cheer. She, you were really mean to her when she tried to cheer. You were really mean to her when she, you were really, why would she be nice to you? Why would she like you? What am I saying? Why would she like you? You were mean to her at the cheer tryouts. How could someone like me turn him down? Oh my God, I wish they killed him sooner. <laughs> I'm sorry, but after someone telling you that story and you sobbing like that, I would have been, I would have been like a little bit like, cut the shit. Like, don't do that to me. God, the blood is sticky. The blood is really sticky. It's be. <gasps> Why is his hand? Oh, he just ate it. What is this song? <laughs> Why did they keep playing the song? She's actually trying to hunt down her assaulter and like the witch is behind her like, like Oh my god, this is true romance. I cannot believe I am sitting here behind you on this bicycle. This will forever be one of my favorite memories ever. You are not thinking about anything romantic right now. You are trying to get revenge, but I am in paradise. Like, why is she, like, romanticizing the shit out of this? I feel like he's gonna explode because I feel like that's not what you're supposed to do with the stones. I don't think you're just supposed to eat them like they're candy. Is this an allegory for steroids? Ew, this is so... Ew, I thought I was gonna be not scared, but the way he's, like, giggling behind her as he, like, drags her away is, like... Ew, ew, actually, actually no, actually no. Oh my god. Holy shit! I've never done that before. Why are they changing his voice? They shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. What is going on? Girlfriend, bitch! Girlfriend, bitch! That was amazing. She couldn't have done that sooner. Oh my god, infinity stone. So. <laughs> oh my god, infinity stone moment. She's gonna make him turn to fucking dust. I cannot believe the Marvel Cinematic Universe got it. <laughs> I cannot believe the Marvel Cinematic Universe stole the infinity stone concept from all cheerleaders die. I can't believe they did that. That was 
a scream queen. That was the scream. All, honestly, all the cheerleaders have really good screams, but that was a scream queen. <laughs> I like this movie, guys. I don't know what to tell you guys. I like it. This is like Fear Street. I love it. <gasps> Part one? Did they ever get a part two? <laughs> Did they ever get a part two, guys? <gasps> Based on their original film, All Cheerleaders Die. Did they ever get a part two? Oh my God. Guys, we never got an All Cheerleaders Die 2. I kind of like this movie. I, might I say I honestly enjoyed myself while watching this movie? I thought it was kind of good. Like you're telling me the witch that was outcasted by the cheerleaders brings them back to life because her ex-girlfriend joins the cheer squad after trying to get revenge on her fallen friend's boyfriend who took advantage of her. It's layered, but I think that this is actually a pretty good movie. It is what it is. It's a comedy horror about cheerleaders who die. If you expected something else from this movie, I don't know what to tell you. Like this movie quite literally is exactly what it presented to be. Maybe this will be a hot take. I fucking loved that. I just did. It is like the perfect movie for me. But to be fair, this is a movie like literally only made for me. I'm the only person it's made for. That is the only person who this movie is made for. I love bad movies and this is a bad movie and I love it. Like you see this joy on my face right now? Like this is the type of joy I get from horror comedies. I love bad horror comedies. There's not, <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this guys. Not only is it a horror comedy, it's about cheerleaders killing boys stupid awful boys you don't get any better than that oh my god go watch this movie on your own guys because i bet you guys all just watch this without actually watching the movie first go watch this freaking movie because it's so thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoy thank you to everyone who suggested this but thank you to everyone who suggested this movie because you knew exactly the type of movie that i would enjoy i love you guys and i'm so excited for you guys to see the rest of my halloween videos bye